हेलो एवरी वन वेलकाम बैक वन सेकेंड टू माई एनवायरमेंटल सायस क्लस माइ सेल्फ समीर सर एंड टूडे एगेन आई एम बैक उथथ यू उथथ योर एनवायरमेंटल सायस क्लस चैप्टर नम्बर टू इयर टू इयर पार्ट टू सो स्टूडेंट आई होप दैट अल अफ यू हैव वाच माई लास्ट भिडियो एज वेल एज यू हैव अलरेडी डान अल द कोश्चन आन्सार हुई आर गिवेन एट द एंड अफ द भिडियो सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट अफ द भिडियो ओके वी यू विल डिसकस द नेक्स्ट टू पेजेस इन द भिडियो वाच द भिडियो माइन्यूटली वाच इट टिल द एंड एट द एंड अफ दिस भिडियो दे आर आर सम क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड आई होप दैट आफ्टर वाचिंग द एंटायर भिडियो यू कैन इजिली सल्व द क्वेश्चन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट इट वॉज द पार्ट टू अफ चैप्टर नम्बर टू इयर टू इयर सो दिस इज चैप्टर टू इयर टू इयर द फ्रंट पेज पिक्चर so all those who have not yet taken out the book please take it out parallelly you will also go through the book after watching the video so whatever i will discuss in the video after that if you go through the book properly i hope you can easily understand after that if you have any query or the doubt on the doubt clearing class you can discuss about your problems with me so that i can solve it out so here the page start find out some of the other animals which have ears that we cannot see write their names so previously we have already discussed about those animals who are having their ears as well as their ears are visible as well as some of the animals are there whose ears are there but we cannot see the ears because somehow those ears are covered okay so over here you have to write the name of some of the animals who don't have who whose ear is not visible so can you name them i hope you can i can tell you two or three example of such animals so that you can write the rest so the animals whose ear we cannot see they are the frog sparrow duck fish snake crow lizard crocodile so all those ears all those animals their ears cannot be seen so apart from these few of the other names whatever you know you just write it over here okay in your copy you just copy the question and write down the answer then read and write an animal with ears like fan on the last video i have already discussed about the animal who are having long or big hair and they are moving the ear like the fan so which animal is that one who can tell okay the hint i have already given on the previous video so it will be the elephant okay the elephant are having big ears and they are also having the ears like fan next fill in the blanks is the animals with ear like leaves so which animal is having the ear like leaves i can give you some clue of this animals this can be find in the forest okay it looks very beautiful it are having the horns are very big and the ears are having the leaf so can you identify which animal is this one i hope you can it will be the deer the deers are having the ears like leaf next is the animals with ears on the top of the head so some animals are there whose here ears are there located on the top of the head okay this animal is also very beautiful can you recognize this one so try to find out recall your memory i hope you have already seen okay mainly they are white in color there may be also several colors of it but especially the white color is very common can you recognize yes this animal will be rabbit so rabbit are having the ears at the top of their head now an animals with ear both side of the head any animal can you find many animals are there who are having and the ears on both side of the head can you find it out who are which animals are those 
one is very common okay and it is mainly found in our west bengal also in sundarban now i hope you can understood about which animal i am telling which is the animal tiger so tigers are having their ears on both side of the head so lion are also having several other animals are also having i am giving just one one example of it you can write it by your own also okay so how you hope whatever are there in this page you have easily understood have you i hope yes you can so whatever i have given some examples apart from this one whatever the examples or the name of the animals you have you know or you have seen okay just observe the animal properly you have to you have to just uh, recall your memories you have to uh, watch the animals or the birds or whatever uh, the big animals in the zoo forest find outly okay and you have to develop your observation power okay so if you develop if you observe those animals properly you can find that which animals are having ears where some are having at the top of the head some are having at the side of the head some are having ear likes okay some are having very small ears some of the animals are having big ears like fan okay so if you observe those animal properly i hope you can tell the name okay so over there whatever i have told the example apart from that one if you know those example of this animal you will write it down and all those question you will write it down in your class work copy with answer next you know very well that ears help us to hear so what is the use of the ear ears help us to hear everything we are also using our ear to hear in some animals you can see the ears is some you cannot see some of the animals are there that you can see their ears and some are there whose ears you cannot see so we cannot see a bird ears so have you seen any ear of a bird i hope you have not seen okay so it is not visible okay but the birds are having the ear yes obviously the birds are having the ears so the birds are has tiny holes or tiny holes on the both side of the ear small hole holes are there okay so birds are having the small holes and at the side of the both side of their head and these holes helps her helps them to hear okay generally the holes are covered with feather so generally the holes are covered with feathers and they help the bird to hear so all those holes as the birds are having feather on their body and their ears are also covered up with the feather okay that is why we cannot see the ear of a bird okay it is a small hole on both side of the head but as it is covered up with feather we cannot see but yes the birds are having the ears if you look carefully you will see tiny holes on the lizard's head so the lizards are very common in our house so if you see minutely we can find the lizards are lizards are having small holes on both sides of their head and this are its ears so these holes on the lizard head are its ears so from today onwards if you find any lizard in your house you see it watch it minutely okay its movement as well as its head specially you have to observe that where the tiny holes are there those are the ears of the lizard so these are its ears a crocodile has all so has ears like this but we cannot see them easily so like lizard lizard is a reptile who is crawling okay on the ground so as well as crocodile is also a reptile almost similar in looking okay but the size is different okay the lizards are very small the crocodiles are big and the crocodiles are also having their ears but we cannot see them easily why because they are is very small and on the both of side of their head it is located okay now 
you know some of the animals are there who are having skin on their body okay all animals they are having the skin on some on the skin there are several hairs some of the animals are having feather so those skin now you know how to recognize the animals by ears let us see if you can recognize by skin so we have come to know about those animals who are having the ears but it is not visible and we can easily recognize them or can find it out okay <clears throat> but now we have to recognize some of the animals with their skin or the pattern of the skin so let's see so this page already given page number 14 in your book okay match those animals shown here with picture on their skin make them correct pattern of the skin on the picture of each animal so here are some of the patterns given and imagine that all of their patterns on the skin is removed over here it is a blank so you have to match it out which animal skin is which one okay the different patterns of animals are due to hair on their skin so why there is a different patterns of animals some are having dotted some are having stripe okay some are having just solid color on their body so what is the reason behind it this line they have different patterns of animals are due to their hair on their skin as they are having different pattern of hairs on their body that is why they are looking different so with the pattern of the animals on their hair on their body we can also recognize or identify the animal have you ever seen the animals without hair or those hairs are removed imagine how the animals would look like if you did not have any hair on their skin they there would be no pattern so now you imagine some of some of the animals we are seeing but if i find that they are original hair is removed from the thing it will look very bold and barren we cannot sometimes identify them is it sometimes if i cut our entire hair and comes to bold it looks very odd okay our face changes so like that if i we find that some of the animals can be easily recognized by the pattern of the skin now if you imagine if such thing happen all the uh, hair is removed from one animal body suppose from the zebra body can we identify them easily so let's see can we do so it is a very important or funny puzzle okay just enjoy the enjoy the puzzle and try to solve it out so which one i am just showing it on the next slide so here is the solution of it okay the first one this pattern whose pattern is this one this is the tiger's pattern it have striped okay with black over the yellow okay now this pattern it is of the zebra have you seen any zebra i hope you have seen in picture tv channel or maybe in the zoo if you have visited in a jungle maybe you have seen okay now the dotted one on their body they are the leopard this is the picture of the leopard okay they have dotted small dotted black dots on their body now the squirrel squirrel have the stripe at their back you can see this pattern of hair is of the squirrel and the last one this one having the white dots on the brown and the yellow color color this is the deer so pattern of deer so in this way also we can recognize the animals on the pattern of hair on their skin and sometimes if it is removed hair is removed from the body maybe we cannot recognize them easily okay so in different ways we have categorized the animals okay and we can easily identify so i hope after this you have already understood what i have discussed over here the animals having the ears on the previous video the animals having the ears but they are not visible i have already discussed as well as the pattern of hair through on their body and how to recognize them so student after this let us have some important question for your self assessment you have to write down all this question in your copy with correct answer if you cannot if you face any problem in the doubt clearing class we will discuss it 
so which of the animal don't have any hair on their body so among four animals name are given man monkey frog deer and none of the other so which animal don't have their hair on their body you have to name them do birds have ears if so why they are not visible okay so it is a typing mistake over there it will be r why they are not visible it is written it it will be r okay so why they are not visible okay so you can all write down the answer that the birds are having ears or not yes obviously they are having so but why they are not visible i have already discussed why the ears of the birds are not visible okay next crocodiles and lizards here by dash on both side of the head what is there on the head on both the side through which they can hear it is a very easy thing already you are discussing about it and many times we have discussed okay in the previous slide so i hope you can and the next one is why there are different patterns on animals lastly which we have discussed why there are different patterns okay on animal body what is the main reason behind it you have to write it down so these are the four important question for your self assessment the next part of the chapter we will discuss on part 3 of the video so i hope you have understood properly the chapter and also you can recognize all those animals by the pattern of skin by their feathers who are having the ears visible who are having ears which are not visible to us everything and yesterday on the last video where which you have provided where it is asked to segregate the animals and the insects as well as the name of some birds are given whose ears are visible and whose ears are not visible over there ant is written so actually we can not segregate ant on the both those categories the animals who whose ears can be seen and and animals whose ears cannot be seen so ant do not have ears they have special sensors on their feet okay which feel the vibration through the ground when the ants are crawling on the ground they don't have any ears they are just sensing the vibration from the ground so the ant cannot be categorized in any of the columns which we have given that animals whose ears are visible and whose ears are not visible so over there ant you will not write in any of the column on the first video we have provided okay they have just some special sensors in their feet which can feel the vibration of the ground through that they can understand different sound at the vibration okay so this is all about the ant which was given over there okay and all this question which we have discussed in this slide and the chapter we have already completed the discussion up to the page okay for for number page i hope you can already do all this by yourself so thank you student have keep safety measures at your home because now the covid situation is going on okay use hand sanitizer when you will go out use mask as well as maintain safe social distance from other stay at home and stay safe so thank you everyone and bye everyone we will meet again on the part 3 of the video so thank you